what we're going to do now is start a cool little trick that will save you a lot of time. I'm going to select all the drums and create a group that I'm going to call drums. And if you really want to be over the top, you can make the letter that turns the group on and off D for drums. There you go. In the end, I'm going to turn that off. And then I'm going to create a VCA master. I'll explain that I'm going to assign to the group drums and I'm going to call it VCA drum. There's a method to this madness. Then I'm going to probably make a group for the bass, call it bass, assign it B. Okay, make a VCA and assign it to that group and call it VCA bass. So that happened. Now, why? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to select all my VCAs and put them together. And you might be wondering still, why would you make a group for one track? For this reason. I now have to the right of my session a bunch of VCAs that are actually controlling the entire song. Everything in the song is slave to these VCAs. And I have this. Let me show you. I'm going to switch to the screen so you can see what's going on. What you're seeing right now is what I have on my iPad. You can scroll around and this is a new free app from Avid and it's actually really, really useful. From this screen that's sitting right next to me, right here, I don't have to scroll around. So for big sessions, this is a good trick. And also at the end of the mix, I can massage the entire mix right here with these eight faders. Let me show you a couple things on this app that are really great. I can use the track type selector to say, I only want to see VCAs and I only see VCAs which now allows me to say, listen to just the drums and the bass or turn the vocal back on no matter where I run. without having to scroll around here. I can focus here and this is all my VCAs. It's pretty awesome. Other windows that are really awesome on this app. This is the mixer window. You have a tracks window. Right now I'm only watching VCAs, but if I'm watching the whole thing, it's organizing all your tracks by your colors and you can look at what's going on, which is pretty awesome. That's great. There's a channel window. So if I select the kick, for example, I can go to channel and everything that's related to that channel is now available. So inserts, inputs, yes, inserts. For example, if I select the bass drum sub right here, I can look at the different inserts on it. I can hit the channel strip and the controls of the channel strip are here. And a lot of it is actually very usable, a lot more usable than any of these apps I've seen before and you can change the gain and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Like if we want the high end to be super heavy, I can do it this way and it works. It works and it's fast. It's crazy fast. Like that was a little, that was a little bit bold. Let's go back down to three dBs. Let me demystify this and show you what I found so far is the most useful. I showed you the VCA thing. That's awesome. The other thing what it's great for is sense. Because when you have four, five, six sands on a channel, it can be really difficult to see what's going on, especially since it's going to make your mix really, really, really tall. With this, you hit on the channel, you see all the sands and you can change the sand amount. So if I go to vocal here, I have her space sand right here and I can change the amount. It's really quick and it's nice and I don't have to change my focus. So that's very nice. And the other thing that's fantastic is soft keys and memlock because now you have your entire song right here. First chorus, boom. Me. Now that is so good. Me. So instinctively. 